Hello everyone, Andy Clark here. I'm going to be giving you a brief overview on our new ministry expense tool, which is called Certify. This overview should give you brief information into how to use the tool, how to add in receipts and expenses, creating expense reports, uh, submitting expense reports for approval, etc. Uh, so we're just going to walk you through some of the basic features and functions of Certify. We also have a separate video that you can watch that walks you through how to use the Certify mobile app. All right, so we recommend you check that out. So the first thing to mention is how to get into Certify. And the easiest way to do so is through the Just for Staff site. You'll see we are in the Just for Staff site here. We're on the home page. When you're ready to go into Certify, you'll just come up here to Finance, click on the Finance tab, and then click on Ministry Expenses. That will take you to a Ministry Expenses page that we've created. And then all you have to do is click on the Certify logo right here, and that will take you directly into Certify. All right, you may come across this page where you're asked to select which account you would like to choose. Just select your CRM email address. Sometimes it'll, it'll just take you directly into Certify and you won't see this. But if you do, just select your CRM address and you're taken directly into Certify. So what you see now is the home page of Certify. This is what you'll see whenever you log in to the site. I want to first point your eyes to this box here, which is the Get Started box. What this is, is it basically is walking you through the process of adding receipts and expenses into Certify, creating expense reports, and submitting your expense reports for approval. So this is a great place to start if you're wanting to just go through this process. Let me just mention these three items up here at the top. You'll see Report, Executive, Automatic, and Manual. We're currently on automatic, and that is the one that we recommend to you that gives you access to the auto expense report wizard. Manual enables you to do all the steps yourself, and report executive is a feature that we won't be using, so you can go ahead and skip over that one. Let's look at the first step here. The first step is add expenses and receipts to your Certify wallet. The great thing about Certify is there are about 10 different ways that you can add expenses and receipts into Certify. The ways that you can add expenses and receipts into Certify can be viewed just by clicking on this link here, Add Expenses and Receipts, and you'll see this long list here of all the different ways you can add in expenses and receipts. I'm not going to walk through each of those for you today. You can come in and check those out yourself, but I will mention the top two that we recommend and that you will most likely be using. So the first one is Smartphone. Um, if you have a smartphone, you can download the Certify mobile app. You can download that for free from the App Store or the App Exchange, whatever you use. In the app, you can add receipts and expenses. You can do just about everything you can do on the web version of Certify. And once again, we have a different video that you can watch that walks you through how to use the app. So check that out if you like. And the second item to mention, again, you can look through all these yourself, but the second one to mention is email. If you have a receipt that's coming to you via email, you can simply email your receipt into data at certify.com and that will include the receipt in your Certify account, okay? So come in here, check out all the different options and figure out what works best for you and go ahead and do that when you have a chance. All right, so that's step one. That's adding expenses and receipts to your Certify wallet. Once you add receipts and expenses into Certify, they all end up right here in my Certify wallet. So once you've added all your expenses and receipts, you move on to step number two, which is use the auto expense report wizard. What that is, is it is a really nice tool that helps create your expense report for you, clean it up, and get it submitted for you nice and easy. So we do recommend you use that. All right, so when you're ready to create your expense report, all you need to do is come here to number two, click on Auto Expense Report Wizard. It'll take you to this page where it asks you, what would you like to do? You're given three options. We recommend the top one here. It's definitely the easiest. Just add all items to a new expense report. So this will add all receipts and all expenses that are in your certified wallet to your ex new expense report. If you have some items that you would like to add and others that you would not like to add, you can use one of these other options. We're going to go ahead and select Add All Items to a New Expense Report and click Next. 
That takes you to this page here. You can enter expense report information. If you're using the auto expense report wizard, these top three fields will automatically populate for you. The start and end date are selected based on the newest and oldest receipts or expenses that you are adding into this expense report. The description box here is optional. You can feel free to add something there if you would like. All right, so if, the, if all that's good, you can click on the next button. That just takes you to a confirmation screen here. You'll see it's including one receipt and two expenses, which as we recall, that's what was listed in our certified wallet. So that seems right. And we'll click on the finish button and that's gonna take us to our expense report. All right, so this is what the expense report looks like. And you'll see our three items here. So the two receipts and one expense were pulled into here. If you need to see any details of each of these items, you can either click on these arrows here and that will pull up some details for you. Or you can click on the detailed button over here and that will expand your expense report to show you all the details for each individual item. A couple of things to mention once you're here. When we created this expense report, we selected these three items to be included. If you get to this point and you remember that you have an additional expense that you need to add to your expense report, you can come down here and see the add expense box. If you need to edit any of these expenses that are here, you can come over here on the left and you'll see the little pencil button. Click on the pencil button, and what that does is it changes the add expense box to be an edit expense box. And on here you can make any changes that you need to. So the next thing to mention about your expense report is the red marks that you see on here. If you see any red marks on your expense report, you will know that something is wrong or something needs to be fixed or you're missing some information etc. If you see any red marks, we recommend that you do two things. First thing is to click on the cleanup wizard. Cleanup wizard takes you through your expense report and walks you through all the items that need to be fixed. And link receipts, that will take you through any items that are missing a receipt and will help you link a receipt that's in your certified wallet to that expense. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on the cleanup wizard here. And this is great. It takes you into here. We have this expense and we'll see that we're missing the fund number, missing the vendor, and missing the reason. And it pulls up the receipt here so we can zoom in on that if we need to to reference the details. So we know this is Advantage Rent-A-Car, so that's the correct category. $87. That seems a little low. So it seems like that was probably misread on the receipt. Yeah, we see 87 uh, shows up towards the top here, but the total was actually 159.69. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. 159.69. All right. Fund number. It's just going to be a personal ministry expense. Vendor. We know that's Advantage Rent a Car. All right, so we type that in there. Location was Santa Ana, that seems right. And then the reason, we'll just say we were in Anaheim for meetings. Okay, great. So that everything looks good on there. We've addressed all the needed fields that were missing information. Then we click on next. That will take you to the next item on your expense report. This one looks good to go at this point. And we will click finish. So that takes you back to the expense report. You'll see that any of the red marks under expense here have been removed, but we do still see a red mark here under receipt. So then we just wanna click on the link receipts button here. It's gonna walk us through assigning receipts to any expenses that are missing those. All right, so we'll see that this is Yard House. The total is 182.82. And it looks like we have a 182.82 here. So we're just gonna click on the box next to that and click next. And that was the last one that we needed. The 1999 one does not require a receipt. Okay, so we're just gonna click finish and we're good to go. All right, so we've taken care of all the red marks and we see that we're all set. Once everything looks good, the next step for you to take is to click on the submit for approval button here at the top. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We'll see I certify this expense report is true and accurate. And are you sure you want to submit this expense report? Yes, we do. We're taken to this page, which is a preview of the message that will be sent to your approver. Okay, so this is basically an email preview. If you submit your expenses and they're all personal expenses, it's simply going to go to ministry expenses here. 
So that, that basically just sends it to the finance team for processing. If you have any expenses that you've submitted against a team or corporate fund, you'll see the name of the individual here. And this message will go to that individual and they'll have to approve your expense report. Okay. So you'll see the preview of this message. You can enter in any comments here that will send your comments along with this message to the person that's approving. You'll see a summary here. All this looks correct, so we're going to go ahead and hit submit for approval. All right. One thing to note is down here on this page, it gives you the option to rate vendors at which you had expenses. You can feel free to do that if you want to, or you can leave that blank. So we're going to return to the home page. And since we've submitted that expense report for approval, it now moves that expense report into the pending approval folder here. Okay, so while your expense report is in the middle of the approval process, it will be in the pending approval folder. Once it has been fully approved and processed, it's gonna move down here to the archive folder. And you'll receive an email notification telling you what has happened to your expense report and giving you updates on any approvals that have happened, okay? So that is about it. That's the basic overview of how to use the web version of Certify. There's a lot of other information in here, a lot of other things that you can do. We just want to point you towards the help desk where we've created a number of help articles that should walk you through a number of other details. Just a reminder for you, the help desk can be gotten to via the Just for Staff site, clicking on the help tab here and then clicking on help desk. Okay. Hope this has been helpful for you. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have via email or check out the help desk.